like, look at this. Can you deny how beautiful this is? How beautiful this looks? This looks like a Shopify website. What's up crew? It's Serge here from DWeb. And today I got a very special review for you. We're looking at the GoE theme, which is the latest theme from EverThemes. Now, this has been exceptional for what I use it for. And I, I gotten tons of positive feedback and uh, amazing comments from clients. And today I just wanna dive into what makes it so great and where you should use it and what you can expect out of it. I'll also show you how to set it up correctly and how to get the most out of it. So before we get into it, just wanna make sure you have everything you need. What you need for this theme to work properly is access to your PHP settings. So if you don't have that, or if you don't know what that is, stick around because I'm gonna explain how that works and what you need to do. The bad thing about all these highly advertised hosts is they don't really allow you to tweak your PHP settings, at least at the time that I'm making this video. For example, like SiteGround and Ask Me How I Know, right? So I was uh, paying about 200, 300 bucks a month when I, you know, I bought, you know, the whole year. And uh, it's actually not great because then you realize you have to move to another service to improve your product in your service, right? And then, uh, well, you cannot do that because you already paid for it. And that's the best thing about Cloudways is that they don't punish you for services that you don't really use, right? But you only pay for what you use. And I think that is really important to me. And honestly, if you're presenting this to your client, the lower the costs and they, they will be thrilled to know that they only pay for things that they used instead of just getting locked into a yearly plan that they're not even using half of that. I don't even want to mention how exceptional their performance is, especially with uh, themes like that. And if you set it up properly, like I'm going to show you, you can experience massive boost in performance and uh, you can go ahead and try it out for yourself. They also have great tools and they have great support. I am in love with this whole. I'd highly recommend you go down in the description and use that link because it supports this channel and you can select a Vulture uh, HF plan and get you started with, you know, 30 bucks a month uh, for a kind of low to moderate traffic website. And of course you have access to all the settings and you can uh, support themes like that and deliver a very, very superior product. You'll thank me later. Okay, so this is actually pretty easy to do. Only thing you have to do is run WordPress 5 or higher. I run my PHP at 7.4, but basically you copy exactly what it says here. So memory limit and all of these settings have to be exactly as stated here. Here we are in my Cloudways dashboard. Once you go into settings and packages here, after selecting your server, what you will see is all of these settings, right? And you want to copy exactly the settings as stated in the Nagoya things. I will link to that in the description. You can also switch some variables here in the advanced tab. Another thing you want to do is make sure you're configured the right way. I use PHP 7.4 at the time. Make sure you do that too. And MariaDB 10.1 and also I have Redis installed. I leave everything else as, as it is. You don't need to do anything else. I'm pretty much ready to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and create a new application. You click here on the add application tab and you select that to be on your server. It will prompt you to select what kind of application you wanna run. If you're doing a WooCommerce store, it's very easy to select that. And then uh, you also name your app. So let's call that very original test. <laughs> and now we click on add application. All right. So we're gonna have to wait about two minutes for that to get done. So sit tight, grab your coffee. As you can see, we're in the WordPress dashboard with WooCommerce installed. So it's a clean install. And um, Kawais kindly took the time to automatically install Breeze for us, which is their caching and uh, optimization plugin. So that'll be really useful in a couple of seconds where we can figure it out properly. Another thing I do in all of my WordPress installs is I go and essentially delete all of the other themes here. Cool, and it seems like we have uh, an update to the WooCommerce database, so we'll do that as well. And as this is rolling, I'm gonna go ahead and go to EverThemes and download my official copy with the latest update of the theme. Now I'm in my Envato Market uh, account, and what you do is you just download the installable WordPress file only. Once you do that, you go to appearance themes, add new, upload theme, and then uh, you select this from uh, your downloads folder or wherever that is, and you throw that in there. And you click to install now. 
So it says that the theme has been installed successfully. I always, again, my OCD tells me to go and delete the previous themes as I make uh, this theme activated. And then we get this beautiful uh, onboarding section, which uh, tells us exactly what to do. So it tells us, welcome to Goya. Uh, we'll set up your theme. Okay, start. Then we also want to install the child theme. Okay, so we created a child theme now and uh, it activated it for us. And it also installs some plugins that they are used in conjunction with the theme. Perfect, so this is done. And now we wanna import some demos. That is totally up to you. If you wanna build this from scratch, you can definitely do that. For example, if I was working with a fashion website, they you can choose what you want to load. For example, I don't want the content or uh, you may not want the widgets, but uh, for now, let's just load everything. And then we can remove what's not relevant to what we're doing. And that's it, we got it, it's ready. We, we have a website. It's amazing how fast we could do it. That looks amazing. And uh, we got all of these descriptions. We got the related projects. I mean, we also have the sticky add to cart. Where can you find that? <laughs> it's great. And if you're looking for a different style, so maybe something more minimal, like look at this. Can you deny how beautiful this is how beautiful this looks. This looks like a Shopify website. And also we're getting uh, tons of features too. So we're getting those pop-out cards here. We're getting those wish lists. We're getting uh, my account features. We're getting order tracking pages, size guides, you freaking name it. So we have basically everything we need to have a right off the bat ready shop that someone can hop on and uh, you know work with this. For those of you that have blogs, you can check out their feature parallax. It looks gorgeous, right? So so it's a block style and uh, they also have some other stuff too. So they have FAQ page, which I personally love and I use it on every website. Um, and I generally think it looks great and it has functions that you don't, you can't get in a, you know, classic uh, WooCommerce themes and they just, it doesn't look stock. It looks great in my opinion. This is the shop page. You can see a discount with a minus 9% here with red. You can see the out of stocks. You can see the filters. For the homepage, we have bunch of variety not all of them are great but they have some uh some really great ones my favorite is this one right so check this out you have a catalog um you can see you can see the shoe you can uh you have those pop-out buttons here in my opinion this is this looks very professional you also have a video i think at some point you can tweak all of this you can uh you can go in with with wp bakery so this is what is supported with this team you go in there and you change the text you change the videos and you basically got yourself um excellent result. Another thing I love about this is that, you know, you have very modern layouts without sacrificing speed. You can see this here, for example, you have the more classic layout, you can scroll through the pictures or you have more kind of full width layouts that you will see on single products as the glass, right? So you can choose uh, with those, again, Ajax buttons for the variations of the product. And that's all configurable through the WooCommerce dashboard that you know and maybe love or not love so much. I think this theme has great potential. I think uh, like I use it in multiple uh, client websites. I think it deserves your shot. Right now it's uh, 29 bucks. Probably gonna increase the price because it has a lot of downloads. But I say go and check it out, have a look. And before you go, there's something else that I wanna show you. You wanna basically go into the Breeze plugin here and configure it correctly. And I'm gonna show you how that looks like. Make sure you double check your website before you make any kind of changes. Essentially you wanna have all of these ticked and just kind of check your website or stage it before it goes live, right? So you want to save changes here and then go into advanced options and select group files, CSS and JS. And what that's going to do is going to combine all those scripts into groups that will load faster. So you want to save changes here as well. Another thing you want to make sure is that because you are on Cloudways, uh, Varnish will actually auto configure for you. So you want to keep this option checked here. You basically automatically purge your cache. I want you to play around with this, right? I want you to go in uh, custom appearance, customize and just play around with it uh, and see how it feels. But I tell you, it's worth your time to check it out and play around with it. You can select a lot of stuff here. It's one of the best themes, ready-made themes that well, number one, it's gonna look great, but number two is gonna also save you a lot of time when you make this, right? You can change the product layouts, you can change uh, the gallery, how the gallery looks, you can change uh, basically everything.
everything. If you got any questions on how to tweak this and how to make it look beautiful, you can drop it in, in the comments. I think uh, it's it's a good word of your time to go in here and basically play around with it. And you also have pop-ups, not a big fan of those, but if you want to use them, you can go ahead and do that. So everything you can expect from a modern and a very you know effective and efficient theme, you can find it here. One final thing that I want to do before you hop off, the actual checkout, right? So this is not the checkout of Goya, but this is a plugin that I use. It's made by WooFunnels and it's called uh, WooFunnels Checkout, I think. I'll put the link to that in the description. Make sure you check that out. It's not free, but it honestly, it's made. It's, it's, a, it's a literal copy of the Shopify checkout. You can see it has a lot of great features. So for example, we have uh, Google Maps API filling in the address and also autofilling all the addresses. Uh, currently, I don't have autofill on my browser, but if you do, it's going to autofill, right? So pop out coupons. You can autofill coupons. You can use order bumps. You can do a lot of things with this. So I will put the link for that in the description. Make sure you check it out. It has tons of great features and it will significantly increase your own conversions. And I'm telling you guys, I didn't found those things in a day. I was searching uh, for maybe a year uh, to find this combination of theme and uh, checkout, but the experience is phenomenal. My clients are in love with it. I'm in love with it. Everyone's happy. We have tons of sales. So check that out and uh, make sure you drop any questions below that you may have. And I'd be happy to, to answer that or do a video about that. So peace out and have a good one.